actually simplifying this fraction. So what I'm going to do is look at the top and the bottom separately. So I look at the top and I ask myself what can I pull out. In the top I can pull out a 7. When I pull out a 7, I'm left with k minus 4. In the bottom, I have 20 minus 5k. So I ask myself what can I pull out. I can pull out a 5. Therefore, I'm left with 4 minus k. Hmm. If we look here, we have k minus 4, 4 minus k. Notice they're opposites. When they are opposites, you can actually cross them off and put negative 1. Therefore, on top, I'm left with 7 times negative 1, which is negative 7. On the bottom, I'm just left with 5. So we get negative 7 over 5, which is C. Okay, number 2. Here they already factored it for us. So I have y plus 3 times y minus 4 over y minus 4 times y plus 9. So all I have to do is cross out what I can, what they both have. So the only thing left on top I have is y plus 3. And the only thing left on the bottom is y plus 9. There's our final answers, which is B. Don't be tempted just to cross off the y's. Those go together. Okay, and lastly, number 3 here, we have 3x plus 2 over 12x squared plus 17x plus 6. So I look at the top. On the top, I cannot do anything there, so I'm going to leave that. On the bottom, I have 12x squared plus 17x plus 6. I can't pull that out, but I can factor it. So I'm going to write it over here and we're going to factor it before we put it underneath that parentheses. No, I can't pull anything out. I can make my pyramid. 12 times 6 gives me 72. Now my factors are 72. Remember, my goal is 17. My factors are 72. 1 times 72. 2 times 36. 3 times 24. 4 times 18. Okay, that still doesn't get me 5, no. 6 times 12, and we have 8 times 9. Okay, my goal is to get a positive 17. The only way for me to get a positive 17 is an 8 and a 9. Positive 8, positive 9. So I'm going to factor this down into 12x squared plus 8x plus 9x, and then I still have my plus 6. I have four terms. I group the first two, group the last two. In my first set of parentheses, I can pull out a 4 and an x. When I pull out a 4 and an x, I'm left with 3x plus 2. I want 3x plus 2 here. I don't need to change the sign, so I have a plus. And then I can pull out a 3. So I'm left with 3x plus 2. Now, they both have 3x plus 2. So now I can factor my 3x plus 2 here. So if I pull out the 3x plus 2, I'm left with 4x plus 3. So that's what's going on the bottom of this fraction. 3x plus 2 over 4x plus 3. Okay. So now I look at the top and the bottom. They both have 3x plus 2, so I'm going to cross those off. Therefore, my final answer, if I cross everything off at the top, I'm left with 1. On the bottom, the only thing I'm left with is 4x plus 3. So we get the answer of 1 over 4x plus 3, which is choice C.